The Chesapeake Bay Bridge is back open again after a fire last night. The highest point of the bridge caught fire yesterday around 6 p.m. The bridge was closed for about two hours, backing up cars for miles from Ocean City and Delaware. There were no injuries, and investigators are still looking for a cause. Capital bike share is spreading up into Maryland. Montgomery County is the first Maryland suburb to adopt the bike rental system. Bike share stations are now around Silver Spring, Bethesda, Tacoma Park, Rockville, and Shady Grove. Capital Bike Share has been in the capital since 2010 and spreads to Northern Virginia as well. For DC taxicab drivers, it's crunch time. Today, if 7,000 DC cabs don't have credit card machines installed in their vehicles, under rules set by the DC Cab Commission, they can't work. Here's more on the story. On Wednesday, D.C. cab drivers gathered along Pennsylvania Avenue outside of the district government building, protesting to extend the deadline for installing credit card machines in their cabs. And today, if these drivers don't have the new machines installed, under rules set by the D.C. Cab Commission, they can't work. D.C. Cab Commission, they're not organized. That's the, the thing. And this is our business. This is our livelihood. Everyone has a family to raise. They're not organized, so we're taking out money from our pocket to support our family. And then D.C. Cab comes out, and they say to us, you should do this, you should. They've been towing our cars. Installation fees for these machines are as much as $14,000, and the D.C. Commission has only approved 10 companies to install the devices, making installation a nightmare for many drivers. But the Commission says that they've given district cab drivers enough time, 120 days and two extended deadlines to install these machines. And we are stuck, you know, and uh, we are stuck with the bills, you know. I cannot pay the bills, you know, because I, you know, get any money yet. But other drivers think that so far the new machines have been beneficial to their business. So the service is good for the customer, especially for the customer because it's very convenient. And for me too, because if I don't have any cash in my hand. Starting Monday, the D.C. Commission predicts that close to 25% of D.C. cabs will not have the new machines installed. But this time, they're not giving out any more extensions. The D.C. Taxi Cab Commission says it may consider on a case-by-case -case basis if a cab driver was denied a reasonable opportunity to install the mandatory credit card readers by the deadline. A new poll by Rasmussen reports says 75% of Americans oppose D.C. statehood. The problem is, the question asks voters if they were willing to change the Constitution to make D.C. a state. The slanted question may have el elicited skewed responses, so more polling is necessary to get an accurate view of this country's thoughts on D.C. statehood. Mars is looking even more attractive for human exploration. NASA's Mars rover Curiosity discovered the soil contains about 2% water. That means explorers could get about a liter of water from every cubic foot of Martian dirt they dig up. The rover also found a kind of volcanic rock on Mars that is similar to rocks on Earth. Scientists say this shows Mars is more evolved than they originally thought. Prince George's County Councilman Eric Olson is trying to improve the county's public health by requiring restaurant menus to improve how much salt is in their food. Olson hopes his new proposal will help fight Prince George's obesity endemic and target other pro health problems like diabetes and heart disease. Fast food restaurants are Olson's main target, but so far his proposal has had mixed responses from l county locals. NASA is preparing to bring 3D printers into space next year, a move that will help astronauts to have a replica of every tool they need in space. These 3D printers would print objects like small satellites used to transmit data to Earth and other things like replacement parts and rocket pieces. Other international space agencies are also figuring out how to implement 3D printing into their space travel. At 5 p.m. today, the National Aquarium will shut its doors for good. After ongoing renovations on, in the basement of the Department of Commerce's Hoover Building, aquarium officials decided that it was time to shut it down. The aquarium has been open since 1885 and has been privately funded since 1982. Animals at the aquarium will now be moved to different places, which include Baltimore's National Aquarium. Drivers in D.C. are more than 100% likely to get in an accident compared to the rest of the country. Terrence Stransberry reports. A common sound when commuting in Washington, D.C. For another year in a row, the nation's capital has been ranked as having the worst drivers in the country by Allstate Insurance Company. 
not surprised. <laughs> one DC resident takes a guess at why they were ranked so poorly. The DC drivers are bad because no one's actually from here, so no one knows the roads or anything. In a town of traffic circles, six-way lights, street parking only, and one-way streets, it can be hard to get used to the rules of the road here. Distracted driving appears to be a problem, too. It's a government town, you know, so a lot of people are working while they're driving, or eating, or just trying to get to a meeting, so people that are distracted while driving, you know, cause, can, can be a lot of causes of accidents. Another big annoyance is I've seen people reading books while driving, and that's, one, just dangerous, and two, not a good idea. DC has been ranked last since 2007. Drivers here are more than 100% more likely to get in an accident than the average American. DC drivers go an average of under five years between accidents. I see a lot more fender benders, especially in the city, because even, for example, people that live downtown, whether it's Georgetown, DuPont, anywhere, uh, cars that are parked just get smacked or hit, you know, by people that are driving by the narrow roads. Perhaps when commuting in D.C., it might be worth it just to wait for the metro to come. For District Wire News, I'm Taryn Stansberry. Coming up after the break, some big changes to dining at American University. And not everyone is happy about it. 